It truly is an honor for me to be here this morning. As medical director of the behavioral unit at Methodist Jenny Edmondson Hospital, I can share with you firsthand the need for more mental health services in our community. Dave had mentioned that uh, in Iowa there's a shortage of 300 beds. Well, this morning, right in our backyard at Janie Edmondson Hospital, we had 12 people waiting in outside our psych unit in the ER and the other hospital units waiting for a psych bed. And that is just in our hospital. Imagine what it would be like in the rest of the community hospitals or perhaps in the nearby ERs where patients are waiting desperately to try to get the help that they need. While our current unit has done an incredible job of caring for our community, the demand and need for more beds, as well as enhanced services in a state-of-the-art facility have become very apparent. Mental health and substance use challenges have increased significantly in the last few years. My take is that uh, as a psychiatrist, only two good things came out of COVID, telehealth and it actually lowered the stigma for mental health. However, we realized that as there was such an increased need for people asking for help for mental health treatment, we also recognized how limited our resources were, including the resource of inpatient psychiatric beds. All of these have a significant effect on the individual and their loved ones, and also creates an economic and social burden for the entire community. I want to thank Jenny Edmondson Hospital and the entire health system leadership for their support and for the recognition uh, of this, this need. And in turn, they have focused on the collaboration and partnership to appropriately face these challenges at the level of the person or family affected and the broader community. Keeping mental health services in the Council Bluffs community was mandatory for this project. And I so appreciate the leadership's uh, effort in trying to make that happen. This partnership with Acadia served as a building block in this journey towards improving mental health and wellness in our community. Another step in this process, which was extremely important, was securing the support of our community, our local and regional partners, as well as the local and state governments. Thank you all for your part in doing this. The letters of support that we received for the Certificate of Need hearing were so amazing, valuable, and gratifying, and humbling at the same time. On behalf of the Jenny Edmondson team, I thank you for your support. And I am honored at this time to ask all of those individuals who submitted a letter of support for this project to please stand and be recognized. As a physician and member of this community, this project means a great deal to me and my colleagues. I see the struggles of so many of us on a daily basis in our community. We are certainly making progress with those who trust us with their care, but we can do so much more. A hospital like this has been a dream of a clinician like me and my colleagues for several years. I am honored to stand before you today and I thank you for making this dream a reality.